title to clipboard, paste that in here. Um, what was it? Okay, the second field is the article body. Um, and here you can also embed your links into the articles with HTML. Um, if the HTML, if the article site doesn't support HTML, then it will automatically strip that out for you, so you don't have to worry about it. So I will copy that now, paste it, article summary. Of course, it's best to always write out um, your own articles. Um, if you really want to make everything sound good and you know be unique at the same time it's good to do it manually but again for the sake of this video I'm gonna copy and paste everything in here when possible categories this is what uh, this can be kinda of complicated but you wanna to try to put as many good categories as you can related to your niche I'm doing dog training right now so that's not gonna to be too easy I'll put in general click root again add level um, let's see we'll do outdoors I'll go ahead and put in dog training just in case uh, we'll click that again we'll do a miscellaneous yes you might want to also just put in MISC because they abbreviate it sometimes oops let me delete that click root put in MISC. You can also add subcategories. Um, outdoors, like for example, you could click on the category, add level, and then for outdoors, you could say sports or something like that, and then uh, you have a subcategory now. So you just want to try to put in as many categories as you can. Click OK. And now you have your categories. About yourself, um, this is kind of like your resource box. This is where the software will embed um, your anchor text link when you're submitting articles. This is usually right under your article on the website. It'll be your article, and then under that it'll say author box, and that's basically what this is. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and copy a resource box from here and paste it. Password. I'm just gonna make something up, but you can spin spin your passwords. That's fine if you want to have a bunch of passwords. You can spin your addresses, your states, your zips, your logins. I'll just say hello drive. Uh, Texas seven seven login. You can do whatever you want with these just put a couple of different ones in here it's best to spin everything just to keep it uh, unique and have a different a lot of different variations um, blog comments it comes with some pre-spun comments but they don't sound very good so you might want to delete this and write your own comments um, and if let's see if you ever delete that and for some reason you want to get it back you can right click and select default content and it all comes back so I just wanted to show that video titles again you want to put in um, some good video titles um, your link will automatically be embedded in the description for you so you don't need to worry about doing all that um, for the titles I'm just going to go ahead and copy some bookmark titles real quick and use these. I will also go in and paste a description. For duration of your video, you can really just put in whatever you want. I usually just put in a couple of minutes. It's not really that important preview image um, if you had a for dog training I would just go to Google type in dog training like this and I would grab 
an image. Save that. And you could load it in here. Find that file. Make sure you select which image it is. If it's JPEG or PNG, select that. Make sure it shows up. There you go. Now we have it saved. YouTube ID. This is important. Let me show you how this works. If you aren't familiar with YouTube, so for YouTube ID, you're going to want to just type in dog training. This is how you use the YouTube ID. You click here on a video, and the YouTube ID is the little number up here, or the mix of numbers and letters after the watch question mark v equals so you take that and what I like to do is I'll paste it, I'll open up the spin convert I'll put one here find another video I'll put that on another line let's find another video And we'll put that on another line and then we'll click the line spin and now we have it all formatted for us and you just paste that in oops click copy paste and there you go now you have three videos where it will rotate between the three when submitting and then down here we have your social bookmarks website title if you hover over any of these fields it'll usually give you a little description website title it says this is usually an anchor text so please make sure it holds an important keyword let me go ahead and close this down I'll open this software back up grab titles paste usually bookmarks require a description for that's 250 characters and then one that's 450 characters but again for the sake of the video I'm not gonna type all that out I'm just gonna paste some things in here okay so now we have all our fields everything looks like it's filled out and again before you do anything you'll wanna click the test video I mean not test video just the test button and make sure everything is good in here. It'll have your article title, your article body, summary, everything you need to know. So check that out before you before you uh, start your campaign. Okay, so after all this fields are filled out, the next is go to the options menu, and this is the important stuff right here okay so if you're going to be building links to your money site I'll show you what settings would be good for that the first thing for me skip sites with more than I usually put this on a hundred outbound links I usually select skip sites with a PR below one also unknown PR and for this make sure and select use PR of domain if you use PR of the page it's gonna go a lot slower uh, in building links since a lot of inner pages don't carry the same kind of PR that a home page would so I would advise using PR of domain also you have the option here to pause the project after a certain amount of submissions or you can click this and it, it'll be after a certain amount of verifications for however long you want so if you want to only build 100 links per day you could click that button Select 100, click this, make it set, make sure it's set on verifications, and then, okay, let's see, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, that's something like 1,440 minutes. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Um, yeah, but you get the idea. The next thing is avoid posting URL on the same domain twice. Um, yeah, a lot of times if you're if you're building links to your money site, you're not going to want to post get a lot of the same links from the same domain. So uh, you probably want to leave that checked. 
verified links must have exact URL. If you are posting to your money site or a website that's not really well known, you can leave this unchecked. Um, if it's a site, well, actually, if you hover over this, it'll give you a little description. But if it's um like YouTube video or something like that, you'll want to check this and make sure that it's the exact URL. Um, if you're going to be using, if you have the external CAPTCHA service set up and you want to post on blogs that use CAPTCHAs, you're going to want to make sure and check this button here. Enable custom mode. What this will do is when it, when you're building links to comments, um, it'll pop up a box and will allow you to like briefly read the article and you can manually comment like that. So it's like a semi-automated mode um, for anyone who wants to try that out. Most users will never use this just because it's time consuming and kind of defeats the purpose of the software. But if you want to give that a try, just check that box. Also, if a form can't be filled like category, then you have the options here. You can it will either prompt a box will pop up and ask you to fill that category. You can have it automatically choose a random category or you can have it skip that. I usually ha leave it on random, but you can put whatever you'd like. Try to skip creating no follow back links. Um, I would advise leaving this off because it's really in SEO it's good to have a mix of no follow and do follow and you do get a very good mix of do follow by leaving this off so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Verify submitted backlinks just make sure that the software actually runs the verification process and make sure your links are there. Some people who have Scrapebox might want to try to verify the links on their own and you can uncheck that and export your URLs and use the Scrapebox uh, link checker or some other tool like that if you don't want to use the verified submitted links. Also you can set priority on on each project or campaign so if you have one project that you feel is more important than another you can select that here search engines to use oh well let's go to this first also analyze and post to competitors backlinks if you leave this checked it will try to find your competitors backlinks and build links to them the next thing is the search engines what I recommend is definitely do not check all of these because you really don't need to but what I forgot to mention is here in the data all of this supports full character encoding meaning if you are building links to a website that's in Japanese and you have Japanese articles or something like that you can all these fields support that so you can build links to that and so if you're building links to a site that's in Japanese you would probably want to scrape from a search engine or the search engines that are in Japanese to find Japanese platforms. And you can see how when I selected that, it selected 13 different search engines that are in Japanese. If you are from the US and you want United States search engines, you would select United States. And that's how that works. So um, just make sure you don't select all of them. You could have you know 10, 20, or 30, but there's 585 search engines and you really don't need to use all of them that's a bit overkill and also you have the ability to add your own search engines but that's kind of complicated and I'm not going to cover that in this video and then last but not least you have your filters down here I recommend always leaving this checked you can add if you leave this checked um, it'll automatically skip over websites that have any of these words in the content or on the page so if you don't want to build links on the same pages as say pharmacy or gambling you would put in pharmacy gambling and of course you don't want adult stuff so you would put words like that pharma and it will also it comes default with keywords uh, words like ask commit and comment will be moderated and uh, stuff like that so it skips skips those blogs and doesn't waste time on those you can also import the keywords here this is basically the same thing, except um, except it just it's just for the URL and domain. It's not for the the text on the page. It'll skip any sites that have the keywords you put in here in the URL or domain.